That's a song I co-wrote with Erica Badu called Other Side of the Game. Um, it came about um, back in 96. Uh, those days, I was playing around the Philly area, doing gigs, doing gospel gigs, playing at my church, playing some jazz gigs too, and uh, writing with local writers and just doing some local production. Uh, I was also working with Jazzy Jeff's Touch of Jazz company and toured with Jeff and Will. And I also, maybe a couple years before that, just got off the road for touring with C.C. Peniston. I remember, um, keep on walking. Yeah, we had, uh, we went around the world and had quite a bit of fun. Anyway, so 96, I get a call from Rich Nichols, who was the Roots manager. Uh, rest in peace, Rich. I'd met him a few weeks earlier through a good friend, uh, Fatin Danzler, from Kindred and Family Soul. And Rich called me and was like, yo, can you come by the studio? We got this girl here from out of town, and uh, we we're kind of having a bit of a bit of a hard time figuring out what to do with her. Uh, just trying to catch a vibe with her. So, shoot, of course. I came through the studio and I met Erica Wright, head wrapped, you know, the whole thing. Uh, vibed on a few ideas here and there. Um, hung out a few times here and there. You know, I remember taking her up to the hood, up to West Philly on uh, Woodland, Avenue to, Woodland Avenue to the Jamaican food spot. Uh, since Eric was vegan, vegetarian, she had the Ital stew. And I don't remember, but most likely I had the jerk chicken and rice and peas. And I do remember that the guy that was serving us was uh, really uh, trying to do his best Jamaican rude boy thing and get Erica's attention. It was kind of funny. Again, she had the head wraps and the gowns on. So he was in his spiritual, what, sister, what, go on with you? Whatever. Anyway, I do remember, I think that day or the next day, I uh, were in the studio messing around and uh, Afro was on the drums. Afro is Questlove, Amir Thompson. I call him Afro because, yeah, whatever. So um, we're messing around and I was playing this chord progression. I don't think I meant to play the last two chords and it just so happened that I played them and both of them were like whoa what's that and I was like uh, I made the same mistake again I was like yeah this is the song literally 15 minutes later we had, had laid the framework for the song um, she took a cassette a cassette you know the cassette is kids ask your grandparents anyway she took a cassette to the hotel uh, came out the next day, song was written and finished and vocals down. I think the next day we called horns in, Jeff Bradshaw, Jafar Barron, um, put the horns down. And uh, that was that was all she wrote. That was my, f that was really the first time that I really worked with the roots. And I think that, that was my introduction to being a root, you know, and I was sort of on the outskirts of being, I didn't really tour with them all the time, but, uh, you know, I'm, well, now I'm, I'm definitely a root, but, um, that was the first thing we did. That was the first song that I wrote with Erica and, um, I thought it was a good song, you know, I mean, I thought it was a good song too. I hope. 